What's up guys, Crypto Savvy here. I already did my Bitcoin update this morning. I forgot to put Litecoin in there, so I am doing this update just for that. Um, I do wanna remind you guys, there's a free Discord in the description below the video, definitely check it out. Let's get on with the video and check out Litecoin. All right, guys, as always, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Disclaimer scrolling on the bottom. This is my opinion, not yours. All right, so looking at Litecoin on the daily. Oh, I wanna remind you guys, go ahead and check out, if you didn't see today's video on Bitcoin, I added silver and gold and some other things in there. Definitely check it out. It's a pretty good video and gives you an idea where we might be headed. So let's look at Litecoin on the daily, um, we were looking at this as a rising broadening wedge and a measured move with a breakout of that, guys, is the 6626 area. Now, I also have, looking at this as a falling wedge, we take a measured move of that, measuring the widest point of the wedge, bringing it over to where we broke out, and that gets us up to the 7863. That is possible, that's where we're headed, guys, and, and we'll take a look a little bit deeper. But I wanna look at this right here. We have the 200 EMA giving us resistance here, and that's right around the $60 range. If we can pop above that and gain support on the 60, we'll be looking at going up to at least the 6,600, possibly the 78. Now let's look at um, one more thing here. If we do come back down in the daily, all the way back down to test this trend line, we could come as low as around the 50, 5450 range, which would also line up with the eight EMA right here on the daily. Um, but the all of our EMAs have crossed the 55 here, headed up towards the 200. It's still looking pretty damn bullish, guys. Let's look at the RSI. This is another reason I'm still pretty bullish on it. Um, we'll see how today's daily closes. But as you can see, we have a falling channel right here that we've broken out of. And if you guys are interested, I have a couple links down below. There's a Prime XBT link and a uh, Bybit link down there that if you, they are trading platforms that offer leverage trading. Be extremely careful and do your own due diligence before trading on leverage. But definitely if you're interested, check out my links. You get a, a bonus, a sign-on bonus for using them and you can, you know, use the sign-on bonus just to trade with that and keep the, keep the gains. But anyways, Looking at, I'll leave a Bybit tutorial up top too, so you guys can check it out. But anyways, there is a rising broadening wedge after popping out of this falling channel here. Um, there, as you can see, I had the support line or the resistance line up top, support on the bottom in white, the rising broadening wedge. We have broken out of that, came back down and tested as support. If we can close the daily above this, guys, um, that's pretty damn bullish. So let's look at... Uh, the four hour, take a look at what's going on in there. And we'll also take a look at where we could correct to if we correct from here. So looking at, this is looking like a possible cup forming here, guys. It's looking pretty good. But anyways, we have this white line here, which was our, our resistance back here, back here back here and then we popped above it and gained support around that 49.50 and if you guys have been watching the videos we've been calling these targets off pretty damn well so let's look at our next areas if we continue up if we measure this here let me zoom in just measure this here as just a falling channel and the measure move off that is around the 62.61 keep in mind we could come back down and test the top of this falling channel or bull flag which, however you want to look at it um, and that would get us down to the 5539. And if that was the case, we may end up getting something like this, you know, and making a symmetrical triangle or a, either a symmetrical triangle or a, a rising tri triangle or ascending triangle. But as of right now, we're going to look at it this way and looking at this as a flagpole, this being a bull flag that we broke out of, uh, that would get us up to around the 6819 range. That is, and then of course we have our 6260 or 6600, which is the break of this rising broadening wedge in yellow. And as you can see, we are getting support 
in the four hour off the EMA, we got an eight EMA. We just got a nice bounce off it. But keep in mind, we still could come down and test these ranges again before continuing up. Um, not necessary, obviously. Let's look at the RSI. Look at the RSI in the four hour. As you can see, this here looks like we may be forming possibly a inverse head and shoulders on the RSI. Um, breaking this would be super bullish, but most likely we'll come down, retest this and maybe break this and start a correction after going up to the top there. But obviously that can't be confirmed and, until we uh, see what happens. But if we do come down and touch this now, then we're looking at our correction now. But how that would look um, if we did that inverse head and shoulders that I was just showing you in the price action might look something like this come up here and then come back down to test this and possibly come all the way back down to the 51 or the 4950 range. But as long as we're above the 4950 guys um, and that holds, I think we're pretty damn bullish here. So that's my opinion, not yours. Definitely. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave your comment down below. That'll also get you entered to win the free t-shirt this Sunday. I'll pick a random comment. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. By clicking the Crypto Savvy logo above my head, tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. Smash the likes, guys. That really helps out more than you know. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'm out.